all of these exchanges to my friends and they're like, bitch, get to the bag. Don't fumble it. They trying to pimp me out like it's the players club over here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I miss you guys so freaking much it's been a minute it's been, i was about to say it's been a long time but it's literally been a little hot minute since i've been on here recording it's just that i felt like a little like um how do you say it i just felt like a lack of creativity i felt a little lazy unmotivated too i just was feeling like so i didn't want to come on here and like put out that energy or whatever the case may be and i just needed to like refresh my creativity and um basically just get back into the flow of things and see what was hitting missing or sticking when it comes to my page but for today i have the juicy years story time it is so crazy how things happen for me and to me like i think you guys are really gonna feel this one so anyways before i get into it make sure you hit that subscribe button below and you check out my instagram handle to the side and you make sure you give that a follow too as well so for today's story time let's just get into it so Today's story time consists of how I almost had a sugar daddy. <laughs> yes, you heard me correct and correctly. A sugar daddy. Like, girl, let me tell you what happened. So, Basically, over the weekend, I had um, a little virtual party for my friend. It was her birthday. My makeup and stuff really good. I felt really cute and this and that and there, and I took a lot of pictures. I'll leave a picture up there somewhere or whatever the case may be. Took a picture and like I took really bomb selfies. So I had on this jumper from Fashion Over. I that romper on and whatever the case may be, took the picture and put it on. My Instagram. So when I usually take pictures like that, I try to like tag um like the name brands and this and that and the third just to get a feature, get out there, whatever the case may be, grow my brand. So in this particular day, I didn't think anything of it. I tag Fashion Nova and I tag other stuff that I was wearing in that picture. So I go on about my life or whatever the case may be. I think that day or the next day after I get like this, um, DM request and it was just like hey um it looks like you wear a lot of fashion nova and i like ladies that wear fashion nova first of all first of all let me tell you when i seen that message i was like this nigga got my taste all fucked up like yes fashion nova is good and all of that but that's not all i wear but like whatever so he said that and then underneath that it said um it said something in the sort of like um yeah like women that wear fashion nova but um have but i'm also looking you look like you'll be a good sugar baby or some some sort of that and i was just like the fuck so in my head i'm like just get this man out of here like this weirdo this bozo but because like i always tell you guys in my videos i'm a little curious and i always have to know what was the reason why did this person send this how did you find me when when what who where why how like i'm that type of person so i just seen the message and i ignored it so i screenshot it to my homegirls or whatever the case may be and they're like what huh and they were all laughing at the part about the fashion nova part and this is not to like bad bash fashion nova like fashion nova has some cute stuff like it's hit or miss in my opinion i don't really shop there that much but i do prefer to get their jumpsuits or whatever and when i do um decide that i'm gonna buy from fashion nova because it fits really well to tall girls my size but anyway that's besides the point so they was all laughing about the fashion nova part they was like what about gucci what about louis vuitton what about this and that and third and i'm just like girl like it doesn't matter at this point like who is this man and like why is he so willing to offer to be my sugar daddy so they're just like i don't know girl go with the flow go with the flow go with the flow so i'm like all right cool i'm gonna go with the flow so i was like all right i'm gonna send a message back and like i'm gonna just be like mad cool calm and cordial like i'm normally i mean if that gets played or whatever the case may be then we'll just take it from there 
So I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, yeah, Fashion Nova's cool. Thank you for the compliment. Boom, boom, boom. So I didn't think he was going to reply to that because that comment was just like so basic and like so just like straightforward. And I just skipped over the part where he was like a sugar baby or whatever. So the next day, to my surprise, he slid back in my DMs and he was like, yeah, you're gorgeous. This and I and a third. And he was just like, um, do you know what no it wasn't we didn't even get to that part yet i'm sorry it was just more like he was what he does i think he said he worked in like a marketing engineer company he said he had a few companies he said that it took a few hit in the stock market and that the coronavirus was just like um messing up things for him but it slowly but surely got back on track and i was just like oh well that's unfortunate i'm sorry for you i was like i feel like this is the universe's way of telling us that we should all slow down and focus on things that is important to us so i'm just making small talk just to see and like get a feel if this man is a creep really is who he is so it goes on and then like we respond then he stops like for a few hours and then i stop and then i get a message and then bottom like bottom line straight to the point just skips over he was like yeah so this is when he was like oh my name is so and so i'm divorced this is i divorced my weed i mean i divorced my weed i'm so sorry but that is in there too but just listen he was like i'm divorced from my wife i'm lonely i'm just looking for somebody to um talk to get to know possibly go on vacations with hang out with have have a good time and stuff like that so i'm just like uh okay like i'm just going along with it at this point because i'm curious like i always wanted to know how like the sugar joints worked and stuff like that and i really wanted to know if he was really with the shit and i wanted to see how far this could go because i always feel like i have to be curious george like I, I wasn't gonna do it no way but i just was like you know like i just wanted to really see like what that life entail about because it's like i've seen it on tv you've seen so many girls make youtube videos about it you're just like damn well like how is that possible Possible. and this is not to judge them for doing what they're doing because like you got to do what you got to do at the end of the day but i'm just naturally curiously and i wanted to see if i was about to get some coins or not you feel me but i just wanted to see how it goes but back to the story so then we're talking and then he finally tells me like what it is he do and like um what happened why did he break up with his wife and stuff and like so basically he said he broke up with his wife because she had too much levels of weed intake for his liking um I, I, something of the sort like she wasn't motivated he just couldn't deal with it he doesn't have kids um they divorced and this and that a third and i'm just like oh okay cool then that's when he went into detail was like well um do you know how a sugar um baby works and I was like no nah, but I've heard of it and I'm, I'm familiar with it but I'm not really sure how it works so I was like so elaborate so he goes into detail where basically like he's like it's an arrangement and um I send you money every week so he was like the arrangement would consist of excuse me the arrangement would consist of I have all the screenshots I might put some up but like just to keep it more like personal and confidentiality I'll probably not put all of them up but he was just like his agreements was like that if we, if we were to meet up in person and we had a good time whatever that consists of but don't worry i'll get to that you get anywhere from three thousand to five thousand dollars five thousand dollars and i was like okay whatever cool that as far as money going how i would get paid i would get five hundred dollars every week and if all and if not most of my bills would be paid and handled and be taken care of just in the invoice to him so i was just like yo like this is just too good to be true like why would some random white man just slide into my dms and be like let me pay all your bills and this and that and third so i'm just like this is too much it gets crazier because then it comes to the agreement text message pictures videos um what else he said videos and possible meetups and that and at first i was just like hell no 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 mind you. keep in mind i wasn't gonna do any of this anyway i was just like yeah all right, cool whatever so then i said mine to see how far i could go and i was just like pictures is cool i was like but none of nudity or yeah none no nude nude pics and stuff like that as far as videos no um new videos or explicit videos and stuff like that anyway so and i was like possible meetups like which is 2020 i'm not trying to get into sex trafficking over here okay like i was never gonna meet up with this man anyway and i was like online or uh, online affair is more better like talking to him online versus them meeting up even though supposedly in person i would have got three thousand to five thousand dollars whatever it's not a lot but it's a lot but it's not a lot
anyways, whatever. So yeah, so that was his agreement. So my agreements, like I said, it was no sexual pictures or videos. It was online affairs, and it was like a few FaceTimes and chat was okay. And it was like meet up in person. I think I was like, yeah, vacations would be possible, but I think vacations maybe. I feel like a star. So then I I send those, and I'm thinking like, yeah, this is how I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna find out he's like lying or he's not who he is. So I send it, and within like an hour or two, he sent it back. He was like, okay. Hey, I'm down with those agreements and I was just like no fucking way I was like why this is too easy I'm like what type of sugar daddy be like all right he's okay with like no nudity pics or anything like that like why is he so okay and then my mind started going like a thousand and one places like what if it's my fucked up ex or what if it's just somebody I know or this and that and third so I'm sending all of these exchanges to my friends and they're like bitch get to the bag don't Fumble it. They trying to pit me out like it's the players club over here. And I'm just like, I'm not built like that. Like this ain't in me. But I'm this is but because I'm so serious, I'm still going with the flow. And I'm just like, yo, let me see if I can get a lick first before I get out of here. And <laughs> yeah, that was my whole um purpose of keeping the conversation going. Like, yeah, let me see if I can get a quick couple of cash money out of him before I get to where I need to go. So I'm sending all of my friends the messages and exchanging and they're just like, Oh, okay, it sounds legit, be careful, this and that and third. So I'm like, All right, so cool. So then after that he's like, Oh, tell me a little about yourself and I'm just like, Oh, I work, go to school, blah blah blah, yada 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 like typical regular girl shit, yada yada. So then he was like, um, all right, cool, this is very interesting and I'm just like very interesting like out of all the exchanges we had he had so much to say so when he said very interesting i was just like uh, okay and then that's when he slid his number in there and i was just like all right boom so he slid his number in there so i'm like all right i watch a lot of catfish i'm on my knee with max shit number and I enter it on true people finder or true people search one of those websites and nothing came up so i was like hmm, red flag number one then i like take his pictures and i google drop him nothing popped up red flag number two so keep in mind that all of this is happening and i'm just like something is not sitting right so you know as a woman we have limit intuition we're always supposed to tap into it because i feel like when we don't tap into it that's when shit gets real it'll be like damn i should have listened to my woman's intuition like i should have took the time out to hear what my gut was trying to tell me so all this time i'm just like let me just tap into my woman's intuition. So like I was saying, I Google dropped him and I Google searched him, nothing popped up. And I was just sending everything back to my homegirls and my cousin. And it was like, yeah, so nothing come up. What do we do now? Like, where should we go from here? Like, mind you, this wasn't a one woman thing. I'm just so annoyed that all my friends was really in this and it was like get that money like that's all they see in this dollar size ka -ching, ka -ching. And i'm just like girl my life is on the line here even though nothing was gonna go down but it was just like you know like damn it's just like okay whatever but they have my back so it was just like we was all in it together so we all putting in the teamwork and the effort and crafting the messages to send to him like it wasn't no one woman thing like i just want that to be clear like i'm thankful for my friends and them for having my back and being with the shit so that and and nothing came back so then I hit up my homegirls and they were like you ever you ever had a moment where things seemed like it was too good to be true and they was like I think it's this moment and I was like I honestly feel the same way too and then I had like a weird dream I had just like a bad dream like it's, it just wasn't what it was gonna be and something like I just felt like the universe was telling me a whole bunch of things and like I just didn't feel right I didn't even feel right in the beginning like going through with the whole situation it just felt out of my element and it felt out of me as a person like that's not what i do i'm so used to like getting whatever i need how however i need it on my own and like for another person to come in and be like hey you know what let me help pay your bills and this and that and third and not expect nothing in return was a little like fucking thrown off to me and i was just like very get out of here like i got it so this again just was just for me to like really know the ins and outs of how this thing works because i'm curious i think we're all curious by nature and i really wanted to see how far i could go and how far this was gonna go until the person ended up being like surprise it's not me but i really feel like 
in my opinion, I feel like it was him, but I just feel like as the person that I'm trying to be and where I'm trying to go in life, that wouldn't, that would have threw me off track and that's not somewhere I need to go. But back to the story. So once I figured out all of that, all of that, and I felt like I had to sit with myself and I had to be like, is this something you really want to do? Like, is this, is this you? Like, how would you explain this to the people that you care about if shit went left? And it was just like, it wasn't for me. So I just left it at the number and I haven't hit him up since. So, but it was a lot of red flags before we even got to the number. So the fact that you're just leaving your wife because she smoked a lot of marijuana is just like, okay, people smoke weed and they sometimes they do over abuse it. But it was just like, that's for me, it's not like a good enough reason. And it just sent up a red flag. Like that was so basic and so like weird. Then on top of that was that like, I couldn't find no information about him. Usually we type search people's numbers and um, they, they pop up on that website that I told you about, True People Finder, and he didn't pop up. Granted, that could have been a fake number, too. And three, what also got me was that, like, you're a sugar baby, and you don't, you're, like, agreeing to, to my rules in terms of non-sexual activities, and you're okay with it. But if I was, like, my younger self and naive, and I actually was with this shit, I feel like you probably possibly took advantage of me, possibly, in person and things would have been very weird and awkward so yeah then there was other other red flags that i didn't get to get to that i'm about to get to now another one was that you found me on instagram through a fashion over tag two when i went to your page because before i got to all of the stuff that i got to before him that i was explaining i went through his following and i dm like this one lady and i was like hey um do you know who this person is like he's willing to like be my sh offering to be my sugar daddy and listen how to pay my bills and stuff like that i was like I see that you follow him and this and that and the third and I was wondering if he reached out and did the same asked the same thing for you or whatever the case may be. And she was like, Girl, no, I don't know this man. She was like, There's a lot of sex trafficking going on and this and that and the third. And I'm like, Right, I agree with you and stuff like that. And we just kept it at that. She didn't know him. So I thought. So she said she didn't know him. So I went to like his page and I went to his likes and she was in one of his likes. So I'm like, Is this like a scam? Like are you girls in this sex trafficking scam? Like what like what's going on? Like it's too many red flags here and then I went to his friends list of people he was following and it was like a lady or a man I don't know because it looked like both and he was following him or her and I was just like what the fuck and he liked a couple pictures so I'm just like this is weird like it's giving me fake page vibes or it's giving me like 50 shades of gray but this man is like 70 or like at least 65 years old and it's just like ill so then I'm scrolling, 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 and then I'm seeing that he follows, like, mad young girls, but I think half of these girls don't even follow him, because when I went back to see who he was following, half of those girls wasn't following him, but some was. But at this point, I was over DMing girls, because the one girl lied to me, so I'm just like, I don't know what type of fuckery this shit is on, but I'm not with the shit. So... On top of that, that's what has set me off before I decided to cut all times and just be like, nah, I'm not even gonna bother, like, this is it, like, nope, no thank you. It was just so weird, like, I know when you tag stuff on, like, on, I know when you tag stuff on Instagram, like, clothing or makeup, whatever, it's like, you just open, I know, like, other boutiques and stuff, they'll, like, spam your comment section or this and that and there, be like, hey, let's do a collab and this and that. But to find a sugar daddy that way was a little weird to me, like, just like, ugh, like, no, like, absolutely. So when I put, when I had all that stuff and I put all that information together I was just like yeah this is just gonna be a hard pass no but you never know it could have been real it could have just been stuff that he was into maybe he was just into both sex and that's just what he likes and stuff but yeah I was no I was just like no 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 and yeah like this not happened it's honestly what my gut and that was that and beforehand when I found out all that information as well it was just like He's too eager. I feel like he's new to this, but not new to this. And nobody was giving me proper information, so I felt like everybody was lying to me. It was like one big sex scheme. And yeah, I'm not that type of girl, and I'm not with the shit. But I just was curious to know how being a sugar baby would work and how far I could actually go, and if I was about to get some coins out of this. But I couldn't even get some coins out of him because I just felt like, I don't know, I just didn't feel right as a person. Like, that's not to, that's not me. And more power to the ladies who are getting the coins from being a sugar baby and it's working out for you. Maybe one day in the future, psych, not even one day in the future, maybe one day I'll come across a millionaire who just wants to take care of me just for me and I actually like him and you know we'll go from there but i'm not qualified to be nobody's sugar baby i talk back <laughs> and i don't listen <laughs>
<laughs> and that's just not in my forte. So yes, to the ladies watching, I fumbled the bag and I'm so sorry if you are disappointed in me, but I just couldn't do it because that's just not me. And um, more power to you. But had I had, I feel like had I had met this, you know, um, sugar daddy or whatever in person, maybe things would have been different. And you know, it's not to say that I wouldn't have tried it because in the back of my head, I was like, I think maybe I would have tried it once upon a time, like if I was super younger and didn't have nothing to lose, I would have. And maybe things would have been different. But because of the person I am today and my age and experience I've had with life, yeah, that's just not for me. So let me know if you ladies have come across guys willing to pay your bills and stuff like that or just ask to be a sugar baby, sugar baby. And if you are a sugar baby, please leave it below. I want to know, like, the ins and outs and, like, how it's working out for you. So, yeah. So if you like this story time as much as I was super excited to tell you because I feel like I might have left out some things, but I really didn't, give this story a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. And let a friend know. I will see you guys in my next story time. Bye, guys.